out of here. What's the first thing you're going to do? Go out and get myself a mug of hot chocolate. A piece of pecan pie. All right. That's right. He was a reformed ex-con who wanted to start a new life. You, Ashley? I have been dreaming about that smile for so long. She was the girl of his dreams. When I read what you wrote to me, I said, here's a guy they say is a criminal, but he's not. When I get back in that room, you better be wearing nothing but a candy cane. Welcome home, convict. Hey, sis. But between them and happiness... What do you want from me? I read your letters, convict. He knows you worked at that casino. ...stands a team of criminals who wanted to take down the state's richest casino. This is my luck. Finally meet a boy that I'm crazy about, and uh, my brother wants some worse than I do. You want to hear about some job of mine? I want some hot chocolate and some pecan pie. Let's start talking. I can really go for some onion rings. <gasps> what started out as love... Do you remember all those letters you wrote me about me and you against the whole world? We can have it all if you just give him what he wants. ...could end up in murder. What did you think's gonna happen? This thing's gonna be over? He's just gonna let me go? He's gonna shoot me in the back of the head like this! You're gonna give me a disguise. You're sending me into an Indian casino dressed like a cowboy. It was that or a ballerina. Hey. He was talking to the manager inside there! Something tells me you're not being totally honest with me. You didn't find those letters, did he? You showed them to him. You're in on this. What are you talking about? I love you! You want to keep playing? Let's play! Rule one. Never put a car seat behind the wheel. Ben Affleck, Gary Sinise, Charlie Theron. In the new thriller from John Frankenheimer. Ow. Wow. over not yet hello he's leaving me oh, don't stop him just let him go abby and then what rush over to my house and tell me all about it i can't imagine any man letting you slip through his fingers you're the only woman in the world that I would like to be. Ow. Robert, look at me. I'm not 24 anymore. I'm not even 34 anymore, so what? 1989? Maybe I'd like to have a family before it's too late. 1999. You don't need to have a man to have a child. This is the 21st century. I have something to tell you. Is it uh, bigger than the big box? Not yet. Robert's moving in with me, and we're going to raise the baby together. What? Who's the father? Actually, it's uh, me. <laughs> so your biological time clock is ticking, that's it. Robert is the most incredible man. We're never getting married, so we can't get divorced. Having a child stops you from worrying about yourself. There's something more important than you in the world. The world out there does not always support families that are different. Why don't you sleep in Mommy's room? She snores. She snores like a great big old helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I have a date. What? I have a date. Woo! Woo! Are you two ever together? We're best friends. Robert's my family. He's been my daddy now. What? I think you're a great dad. I just want us all to get along. The last thing we want to do is hurt you. Sam is my son. Forever and always. Hi. Uh, is Abby here? This is a truly anomalous formation. It's unlike anything that we've seen so far. We're trying not to go too nuts up here, but we think there's a good chance that this could be water. Of course, if that's correct, then we may have found the key to permanent human colonization. Yes. OK, we're ready to light this candle. Let's go to Mars. What the hell is that? 
No idea, boss. Ship. For centuries, we've searched for the origin of life on Earth. We've been looking on the wrong planet. training I have kids learned a lot right there yeah and I'm great with people when I was first out of high school I got married and had a kid too young. I'm extremely fast learner you got a really nice office look you want my number I do how about this for number six that's how old my daughter is eight is the age of my son two is how many times I've been divorced 16 is the number of dollars I have in my bank account I'm so glad we got that out of the way because I didn't find you attractive either then we're even <laughs> I'm smart I'm hard-working and I'll do anything and I'm not leaving here without a job don't make me beg in a law firm you may want to rethink your wardrobe a little well as long as i have one ass instead of two i'll wear what i like if that's all right with you you might want to rethink those ties why are there medical records and blood samples in real estate files would you mind if i investigate this a little further what makes you think you can just walk in there and find what we need they're called boobs ed can i just yeah just Surveillance chromium can be very harmful. So it kills people. Oh, yeah. You're a lawyer? Hell no. I hate lawyers. I just work for them. We're going to have to spend a little time filling in the holes in your research. Don't talk to me like I'm an idiot, okay? I think we got off on the wrong foot here. That's all you got, lady. Two wrong feet and ugly shoes. You gotta find a different job or a different guy. For the first time in my life, I got people respecting me. Please, don't ask me to give it up. You're emotional, you're erratic, you make this personal, and it isn't. That is my work, my sweat, my time away from my kids. If that's not personal, I don't know what is. We're gonna get them, Airman, aren't we? They're all signed, every single one. How did you do this? Seeing as how I have no brains or legal expertise, I just went out there and performed 634 sexual favors. I'm really quite tired. $20 million is more money than these people have ever dreamed of. These people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at the age of 20. By the way, we had that water brought in special for you folks. side blows up and then the whole plane just explodes. The plane's gonna explode! It's not a joke! It's not a joke! Ah! We get thrown off the plane all because Brownie has a bad dream? I saw it. The plane! It's gonna blow up! It's gonna blow up! All 287 passengers are feared dead. Because of you, I'm still alive. In death, there are no accidents. No coincidences. And no escapes. Did it happen again? Did you see Todd die? What if it was our time? What if we were not meant to get off that plane? What if 
there is a design, then it's not finished. By walking off the plane, you're cheating death. You have to figure out when it's coming back at you. What are you, God, now? He knows which one of us is next. You have a responsibility to tell me. I knew I should have hit on Tammy in the pool that time. Don't let it happen, okay? Nobody has control over life and death. Unless they are taking lives and causing death. Now, can you promise me that no one else is going to die? you'd make it and you i knew you would it's just a matter of time caught in the middle fish i can't have you hanging with you's boy what the hell were you doing in there we're in the middle of a damn war let me tell you something okay whatever my father and mac are into has nothing to do with me in a world of vicious rivalries and violent betrayals only one thing is certain sorry Romeo. i'm taking you most Valued asset. Romeo must die. That was a mistake. city of gold and the two men brave enough to find it I am Miguel and I am Tulio and they call us Miguel and Tulio seven your dice are loaded I will give you the honor of a quick and painless death but not with that. I'll bet we can make that. Two Pesetas says we can't. You're on! You lose. DreamWorks Pictures invites you... Holy shit! Oh, no ...to join two friends on an incredible journey. We'll follow that trail. What trail? To the magnificent city of gold. El Dorado. Big smile, like you mean it. They actually think we're gods. Miguel and Tulio, the mighty and powerful gods. Hello. Ah! Now, you're going to need my help. What makes you think we need your help? Are you serious? They're bound for excitement. Ah! Who's the guy? You the guy. No. Romance. Hmm? And danger. I know you are not gods. You, you're not a god?
That was good. <laughs> Featuring six new songs from Elton John and Tim Rice, the Oscar-winning team from The Lion King. The Road to El Dorado. the big deal is. I mean, she had a heart Here. transplant. I went with a girl once that had a club foot. I mean, she had the big shoe and everything. Grace, come on. You can hardly see it anymore. I just don't like all the questions, you know? No one's going to notice your chest. <laughs> You're not married, Linda? No, no, no. She passed away. This is my friend, Bob. His wife is dead. Hey, hey Robin! Hey, how, hey, how are you? you? invited somebody over here like a blind date for you. What? I already told him you've had some work done. Thank God she's not a Buick. He's a terrific guy. In fact, he had a transplant too. Well, I'm still in a little pain, but uh, look how natural it looks. Go ahead, give it a tug. No, that's okay. I got somebody for you. Oh, Charlie, no. She's got a great body. <laughs> I think your ass is ringing. <laughs> Do we know each other? I think so. Oh, my God, blah, 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 blah. Here, here, Robert, I want you to meet my granddaughter, Gracie, here. Isn't she lovely? Would you go out with me? Yes. Is that a question? I met someone. I just wanted to tell you. Love birds, Arthur. Let's play some Frankie Sinatra. Is an earthquake. <laughs> or simply a shock. Wear. Whatever you do, don't shave your legs. Why? Then you definitely won't let it go too far. Hey, how do I look? Tall. Tall. Is it a cocktail? This is a game that all women play just to reel us in. Hey, kids! Sammy Sosa! You're just gonna tell him. Oh, how? How do I tell him? You just, Bob? You know, I, I had a heartwarming dream about you. Oh, who died? Bob, why? He's married? <laughs> Joe, maybe you should put on a shirt or Grace will never be satisfied by another man. You like that one? Yeah.